Well, this is exciting for me. Uh, I'm joined by rock royalty, Gene Simmons from Kiss. How are you? How are you, young man? Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you. In the UK, in London, in my studio. In your studio. We go yes. back a long way. We do. We what? did Celebrity Apprentice. What? I knew it. 2008. <laughs> and just to remind anyone left in the world I haven't told... Go on. ..which one of us won? Go on. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. But only because you quit early. I and ha- if you hadn't, you'd have beaten me. Well, that's not so. But you're, you're very bright and good-looking. <laughs> No, that is the case. In <laughs> you time. know what? You can come back any time, Gene Simmons. You're very kind. Now, your tour, it's, it, it, it's signalling that it may be the end. No, it is. It is. You've got to have... You know, at some point, we're all grown-ups. You've got to be able to understand when the curtain comes down. Everything's got to come to an end at some point. Have a little dignity and self-respect. Love your fans and understand when it's time to graciously thank them for an amazing journey that's lasted. But could half you really a walk away from the stage? Yes, yes. Really? Because the alternative is staying on the stage too long. The way who, Fox... who's, who has gone on too long in your estimation? Oh, many, many. <laughs> you want me to stop? Name and shame. Who have you looked at and gone? Come on, it's time. No, to... it's, it's not fair. You can look. You can. You can see them by the number of creases on their faces and so on. <laughs> Me because rock, rock, <laughs> rock basically is a young man's, generally speaking, uh, form of music. And look, half a century is plenty of time to put on more makeup and wear higher heels than your girlfriend. So we've, <laughs> we've done this a long time. December the 2nd is going to be the last time, and we, we would love to see those few tickets remaining if there are any. Yeah. Some of our friends uh, in London at the O2. Yeah. That's going to be the last time we will ever play. Really? And that's we it? Want, yeah, we want to play indoors instead of usually we headline download mm-hmm. or used to be called Monsters of Rock. Uh, we, we wanted a more sort of uh, emotional thing because it is. What's been for you? I mean, if I could let you relive one moment of your entire rock career right now, which one would you choose? I would choose the beginning, the very first time we ever got up on stage, fourth on the bill, New Year's Eve, 1973, in New York City. My heart was pumping like uh, nothing you ever saw, because you have to understand, when you come from the loins of the people, you know, sort of come up on the streets, and you you see these sort of godlike figures on stage having the time of their lives being adored. There's no other... Plumbers don't get that. Even the Pope doesn't get knickers thrown in his face. Well, he, <laughs> well, he, he, might, be dead. he might, but I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> um, but this astonishing lifestyle. And I was never the best-looking guy and all that stuff. But as soon as you start strumming the guitar and, of course, sticking out my prodigious oral appendage... Boom. How, how is the tongue? Oh, it's... Very big. Can we have a quick flash? I would, but the floor is dirty. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. As, as being a rock star, has it lived up to everything you hoped oh, it would it's be? More. It's more than that. It's so many people moan about their life in show business. Oh, it's a... You've, nev- you've never moaned about he it. He thinks they protest too much. Yeah. One of your v- famous writers said that. It's mm-hmm. nonsense. How would you like to be have more money than you know what to do with, have more adoration? Oh, I forgot, you're Pierce Morgan. <laughs> You get that every... <laughs> Thank you, Gene. Uh, I want to talk about someone else who's, who's in town, Roger Waters, yep. Pink Floyd. You're uh, obviously Jewish. He's been coming out and, with a lot of... Israeli. And Israeli. And he's been coming out with a lot of very anti-Israel uh, and what people perceive to be anti-Semitic comments. I'm not sure that's the same thing. Right, so, so what's your position about Roger Waters? Well, first of all, he's a very talented guy. He's written some of the most wonderful music along with Floyd, um, many, many decades. And it's obviously held up, and he's got lots of fans. There is something to be said for keeping your political and other beliefs off the stage. His choice is to use the stage as a platform to further his point of view. There is a difference between a political statement about Israel and about anti-Semitism. By the way, anti-Semitism also involves Arabs. The the Mm. definition of a Semite includes the Arab world. So I think uh, he's a well-meaning guy. I don't agree with his uh, point of views, of course. So do you think he's anti-Semitic or do you think he's anti-Israel as a state? I think he is, uh, from my point of view, inflamed angry about the political situation, Mm. as we all are. You want there to be peace someplace. And look, I turn our attention to this 
wonderful fairy tale of a mm. country uh, or there are leprechauns and so on. Ireland, mm. the north and the south, yeah. so it's been ongoing for God knows how long and the divisions are deep if you're either Protestant or Catholic mm. or different and I've visited uh, Parliament there. We're going to come to that as she asks a break. Uh, I just want to play a little clip. This is Roger Waters today. He popped up doing some interview and he said this. My story is yet another story of cancel culture. Why are they trying to cancel Roger Waters? Why aren't there real journalists going, hang on a minute, this is <laughs> Maybe I'll call up and see what he has to say. Why aren't you? Piers Morgan, eh? Well, you know, the truth is, Roger, we have, for the last two years, at Piers Morgan on says, well, actually, about 18 months, six months before we came on air, and since we've been on air, uh, we have repeatedly asked you, these are all the stuff that we're showing on screen now, all the requests. And back came the response saying, no, not available, can't do it, too busy, on stage, off stage. So, Roger, you need to talk to your people because you've had a standing offer to come on Piers Morgan Uncensored the entire time we've been on air. Look, I'd like to jump in just for a quick second. The best way to have a discussion or even an argument is find common ground. Yeah. And then, and then get into the diversions of what you think. So what we agree with, and I'm Israeli and Jewish, my mother was in a concentration camp in Nazi Germany, and so on and so forth. I'm not saying this to get your... your heart pumping mm. anyway. We we agree there absolutely should be an Arab state, Palestine. No question about it. It should exist side by side with Israel. No question about it. There should be free flow of information and commerce and so on. Okay, so it doesn't exist now. Let's work together mm. to try to make it happen. Mm. So what's the problem? If only it were that easy, Gene. But, you know, as always, you have a lot of clarity about these things. That's why I like you. Let's have a short break. We'll come back and talk about... Well, Britain and our parliament, you were there yesterday being fated like a, quite rightly, like a rock god, being begged for selfies by politicians. But what do you think of our system? What do you think of him, Boris Johnson? The shambles, as we call it. We'll have more from Gene Simmons after the break.
Coming up on the talk, four children fight for their lives after a knife attack at a playground in France. Rishi Sunak and Joe Biden commit to a new special relationship in Sunak's first visit to the United States as Prime Minister. And police vow to attend all burglaries in a new commitment to prioritising crime. That's all at nine o'clock. Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. With me, a Talk TV contributor, Paula Roan Adrian, Talk TV presenter, Richard Tice, and the rock legend that is Gene Simmons. Well, Gene, yesterday you were in the heart of our British Parliament. Why? What were you doing there? Well, a uh, beloved and respected uh, MP invited me. Uh, as a matter of fact, as a statement of fact, there he is. Mm. Junior, his dad is a legend, of course. Uh, I was invited to come by and visit the House of Commons and so on. And so we have a jet, we travel on it. We were playing Newcastle and all the airports were closed because Mr. Zelensky from Ukraine mm -hmm. was here and for political reasons. The air so I called up and I said, you know, I can't come because we can't land our jet. There was a phone call made by the MP, by the respected MP, and all of a sudden, we were the only jet allowed to land wow. in London. Wow. What's up? <laughs> right. And we landed, and of course, I, I will tell you, I, I was a sixth grade school teacher in New York, in Spanish Harlem, before I stuck out my tongue for a living. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to try to make 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds understand, in New York City, this astonishing little island, little by American comparisons, where a, a monarchy has existed mm. for over a thousand years. Mm. The amazing stories, the characters and so on, and how this kind of transference of power, of course, the Star Chamber and, you know, King Henry VIII, who wouldn't get a divorce, like all this juicy historical mm. stuff. And then Guy Fawkes notwithstanding, he didn't quite get there, but democracy came forth in full bloom, mm. and I saw it firsthand with, you know, it, sitting there respectfully and silently and watch it. And I will tell you, there's a bit of civility missing in American politics mm. because the fine gentleman uh, is addressing, mm. I would like to say, the, in essence, you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was all very respectful. Well, what? you mentioned the point because they call each other the right honourable gentleman. Richard yes. Tice, we have a situation now where Boris Johnson's honours list is about to be approved by Rishi Sunak. I don't think anyone who's been dishonourable and had to quit in shame and disgrace and broken the law and be fined by the police and so on, I don't think they should have an honours list. Well, I mean, that's the, that's the convention. Uh, but the, real, the reality is a deal's been done. Sunak has said, OK, you can have your honours list as long as you just lay off, give me a break, you do your thing. And then I suspect there's a deal being done with regard to the Partygate inquiry. So this is what's happened behind closed doors. Just mark. Well, he's way. now had his report, Paula, mm. uh, today, Boris Johnson, about the Partygate inquiry. And if it goes the wrong way for him, he's got two weeks to respond. If it goes the wrong way, that could be the end of his political career. Well, we know that he's had a, a warning letter as well, don't we, in terms of that, of that um, investigation. But you talk about his political career. What political career? Mm. Even when he was in politics, could anyone really say that he had a political career? Mm. He bumbled through various different mistakes. And um, we, we know that he has left us in such a, a derisory position in terms of where we are on the world uh, scale. No, who, who respects us? They're laughing at us. What do you make of Boris, G? Well, you have to... Uh... You have to consider that I'm an outsider and the view from far away is decidedly different than being in the mm. thick of it all. Mm. I'm a big fan of Boris. The body politic worldwide is really, as far as I'm concerned, what the story is about. You've either got the, the ability to confer with and make deals worldwide that then benefits the UK and the various countries they're in, or you don't. Bibi Netanyahu, who I've met a Doesn't few times... Doesn't it start with your constituents? And where has he been for his constituents? And there's been a recent poll that suggests he's going to lose his seat. He's gone. By the way, I, just lo well, I love watching Paula arguing with Gene Simmons about well, Boris Johnson. I'm, I'm, you don't I'm, get this anywhere well, else. Well, I'm also orange today, <laughs> my Just Oil protest. If I'd have known that you've got permission to land, I would have been there, Gene, with Paula, my was he was, he was not, a dreadful Prime Minister. not but he... too late. <laughs> <laughs> but I, just, I just want to quickly put in... Right now, 
the people's business is being done by Mr. Sunak in Washington, mm. D.C., because there's a momentous and never-before-done deal with the U.K. and America, and I'm sure the news uh, people will mm. be uh, reporting on that. What I mean to say is that Mr. Sunak is in Washington, D.C., so perhaps I saw his mm. deputy at the House of Commons addressing certain issues. It's the big story, folks. The world is, is as far as I'm concerned, the body politic. Yes, there will always be unions who complain. I don't have enough uh, social security stuff. And right, you can pay attention to that. But there's a big story. And as far as I'm concerned, Boris was a great communicator. Perhaps locally was not as... Uh, a All right, well, let's talk about your own backyard because you and I, when we competed together on Celebrity Apprentice, the person that chose me as the winner was Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that enough, but he became president Every of the United week. States, <laughs> and he at the moment is roaring ahead in the polls to become Republican yeah. nominee. Yeah. Given the state of Joe Biden right now, uh, even calling our prime minister Mr. President today, you couldn't bet against Trump getting re-elected, could you? There is a decent chance. You have to understand that uh, America is physically larger than Europe, and in the same way that the UK is not one. A uh, group of people. You've got the Celts and the Picts and different languages, different accents, and so on and so forth. And of course, lots of new folks from around the world coming here. So it's not one people. America, likewise. New York and LA is not Wisconsin and Nebraska. Who's going to win the American election? Give me a name. Donald Trump. <gasps> wow. So wow. We can ignore all the cases, we can ignore the indictments, we can ignore the sexual it's assaults... Democracy, Paul, I am democracy. I'm we not, can ignore the fact I'm he's going to potentially making, be... He wasn't making a judgment. He just said he thinks he's going to win. I'm not even saying that I'm for it, but I will tell you, yeah. if I was Mr Trump, and I, Mr Biden, I think, is an ethical man, and so on, I call both Mr uh, out of mm -hmm. respect, somebody is going to run a 30-second sizzle reel showing Mr. Biden falling down. Totally agree. And I totally that's, agree. That's what's Gene, happen. we've run out of time. I wish I'd had you on for longer. Please come back soon. Kiss are playing 5th of July in London, 7th of July in Manchester, 8th of July in Glasgow. They're back in December at the O2. It's the end of Kiss, he says. I don't want to believe this. Kiss should never end. It should be forever, forever long going like your tongue. <laughs>